go ahead and apologize beforehand. My boyfriend's right outside building a loft. So that might be loud. I promised you a Dollar Tree Arts and Craft Hall. And here it is. So most of the items um, from the shopping trip are arts and craft stuff. I do have a few items for Valentine's Day. A few items for my business as well. Um, so I'll just show those to you briefly. The rest of the stuff we'll talk about. And I gotta try to do this quick because I only have like 20% battery life. So, Okay, so for my boyfriend for Valentine's Day. Make sure he's not coming in. I got a little gift bag to put some candies in. We both love Sour Patch Kids. So I got two different boxes, Sour Patch. And then he loves these little cellos with the clear uh, stuff inside. I don't know what you call it. Not the creamy stuff, the clear stuff. And then I've got him something at work. Um, actually, two things at work that will go along with this. I need to hide this. I bought a bunch of envelopes. I got an eight pack of the little clasp envelopes. And then I got six bubble mailers for my mushroom sales, my plant sales. Uh, well, cutting sales. You can't put plants. Maybe you could. I don't know. Um, in here. So this is side business stuff. Also, here's a little card for him. I thought it was really cute. We're perfect together. I just found something in my bag that I didn't buy. I didn't put this in my bag. It's a little wall hanging thing. I'm not sure how that made it in my bag. Alright, now that my table is a full mess, we can talk about what I got. I got some nail polish, um, some gel, and some regular. I'm going to try it out. I know sometimes my fingernails be looking dirty on these videos and I don't think people like it very much. So, I went a little overboard today. I went a lot overboard today, actually. Let's be honest. I don't even want to say how much I spent on stickers. If you watched my last video, you'll know that I used to have... Well, I had a bit of an addiction to collecting stickers. And, um, and it's been about 20-some years since I've fed that addiction. And I never expected to, but... It happened today. I went in originally to get some stuff to make some crafty things to sell air plants. I was looking for like seashells or something and I needed a hot glue gun so that I could glue these little guys. These guys live just, it doesn't, you can glue them to something, you can keep them just like this. They get what they need out of the air. You just spray them with some water or dunk them every once in a while and they survive just like this. They didn't have anything I was looking for but they did have like this little sign and um, I thought it was cute and I was like you know what what if I just like glue it on here and then I put some writing and maybe I could find another natural looking plant type thing and just even if it's not this one another one I can make it look you know like a natural decor house I don't know what I'm trying to say. And then also, there was this jar that I like. I like the, uh, what do you call that? It's kind of metallic looking rainbow glass. You glue this on here. In addition to this little wood plaque, I got a couple others. Um, there's this long oval one and then a shorter oval one. I'm not sure how she rang this up. There's no barcode and it's not the same thing, even though everything there. Well, I was going to say everything there cost $1.25, but that's not the case anymore. I got a couple different canvases I thought I could use to also glue things, make things, art, mixed media, art type stuff. Uh, a little wood, another little wood thing. And then this black canvas that I thought was really cool. I used to always paint on just regular canvas. This is a black canvas, um, which could, you know, you could could put the air air plant on here um and then I got a bunch of so these are like this is not an organized video I'm so sorry <laughs> uh but they're called rub on transfers so this one's like that gold letters and I was thinking on the black canvas I could make something kind of cool with that and then they had these they're, they're stickers but they're like pop stickers and this is like a fancy little kitty cat and I was like you know I could do something with that just make a cat 
cool looking cat and then I got some other stickers that maybe I could decorate. These are all uh, rub off transfers which it gives you ideas of how to do it like that and I was thinking that might be cute. These are a few more rub off transfers. So this one says on top of mountains and beneath the stars. This one says nap all day, sleep all night. Uh, so I got a bunch of different kinds of those and then I got all these oh that one just says wild and I was thinking I don't know if it's too small for this little plaque um, but it could go on like one of these other wooden ones kind of like that and then I could decorate it this one would kind of be perfect these are little like inspirational quotes and stuff in here and they're the perfect size to add to something like this if I just cut it out. And I got some hodgepodge to, you know, seal it and all that. Um, so a bunch of these pop-up stickers, they're like little scenes. So I thought I could use those to make like a little window. I work at a flower shop, so all these cute little flower shop stickers. <laughs> I just thought they were cute. Different kinds of those. You know, if, if, if everything was still a dollar, it wouldn't have cost me that much. But a dollar twenty-five adds up a lot quicker. Some more like pretty nature-like ones, and then some camping, hiking ones. Some really pretty rainbow feather type things. I thought maybe they would go with that, but now that I'm looking at them side by side, I don't think so. I got some iron-on patches because tacos and pizza. Who doesn't love that? Here's another rub-on. Collect moments, not things. These are some more pop stickers of different flowers. Here's some fun kid ones. I shouldn't have kept these. I was looking at these and I threw them in my basket. I had intended to go back and look through my basket before I checked out to make sure that uh, I wanted all of these things and I didn't do that. Little bear and glasses. Maybe the arrows would look kind of cool with him. Some little daisies. These are all pop up. So. I used to love to do arts and crafts. It's been a long time and I actually sold off. And when I say I used to be a sticker collector, when I was younger, I had books that I would put the stickers in and like actually open the packs and collect the stickers. As I got older, I just started collecting packs of stickers, never opened them, never used them. This is the problem. Eventually I sold all my stickers and craft stuff on Macari years ago did not intend to start this collection again but here we are <laughs> i like these little quotes i'm gonna hodgepodge them probably on some canvas and then add some dried flowers or whatever around them we'll see i got some magnets because i was thinking like if i glued one of the air plants onto a magnet and then i glued a magnet onto this lid then i could take it off when i want or i don't know just i had a lot of ideas going when i was in there i got some brushes to brush on the hodgepodge. I got some tacky glue and some craft glue, just different types of glues for different projects. Um, glitter, these are in like stars and gold and silver. And then I've got blue and green and these also have little stars in them. I thought they'd be pretty. And I got this thing. So this was in their plus section. So the Dollar Tree, I don't know how long the Dollar Tree is going to be around because they're starting to get three and five dollar items on there and they have a, a, a special aisle for that and I feel like eventually um, it's gonna be everything's gonna be more than a dollar and then they're gonna have a dollar section that's kind of where I feel like they're going but I got this silicone geode mold I don't have any resin but I plan to get some I'd really like to make some cool nature looking geodes and then um, some dye Okay, I got cool and opaque, warm uh, for the acrylic stuff. I got some little craft ties to go on like the bottles of um, tinctures and salve stuff that I'm selling. And then I got some little tiny jars just because I thought they were cute. I do have a bunch of like shark teeth that I had found in the wild dream in Gainesville that I found them in. And I thought maybe I could put them in here, collect little tiny things for myself and keep them in there. So I have no self control apparently. Look at this stack. And then somebody, please tell me what I'm going to do with all of these. <laughs> uh, this is bad. 
I can't let my boyfriend see this. I don't care. He doesn't care. I mean, I am the pack rat in the relationship. That's become very, very, very um, obvious to me. But Okay, so that is my Dollar Tree craft haul. Craft supplies haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to stick around. Hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell. So you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Hopefully, I do something with all of this. Editing Christy here, and the good news is I did do something with this stuff. I did lots of this stuff, and I can't wait to show you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.